Hello everyone, this is just a quick video in response to a comment that was left on one of my videos and basically what they were saying was they couldn't change the output channel of a MIDI track to match the output in contact. Um, I'm going to quickly show you what the problem they were getting was. So we have a, a contact track here, I'll open up contact, we have four different channels and basically what they were doing was uh, clicking this arrow here and they were using these channels as the output so this one is output 1 then this one is output 2 this one is output 3 and then when they were going back to output 1 it was still output 3 so basically they could only change these to one output um, to fix this what you need to do is just close this automation panel and we'll basically use this as MIDI output 1 and then we're going to add three extra MIDI tracks by right clicking on this panel and selecting add MIDI track we'll just add in three MIDI tracks so this one's going to be MIDI track 1 so we'll change that to 1 and then this one here will be MIDI track 2 so on this panel here we need to change this bit underneath the all MIDI inputs we need to change this to contact 5 and we need to change the MIDI to 2 and we're going to do the same all the way through these channels. So this one's contact 5 and that's MIDI track 3. And we'll do the same for this, MIDI track 4. Okay, so now these will match the outputs in contact. So if I open up contact, this first tra uh, channel is going to be violin 1. And this one's going to be violas. You can see the volume coming through there. Then this one's going to be the cellos. And then this one's going to be the basses. A lot of other people will have had this problem at some point. Uh, it can be quite tricky to set up Contact 5 with Cubase when, if you're new to it. So if this has helped in any way, then please click like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.